Hi, I'm Chris from the New Mexico Aging and Long-Term Services Department. With this month's Medicare Minute, what's new for 2024? Your Medicare coverage and costs can change each year, so it's important to understand and review your benefits. Here's an overview of what's new in 2024. Number one, know your Medicare Part A and B costs in 2024. Medicare Part A covers inpatient hospital services, skilled nursing facility services, home health care, and hospice. Most people don't owe a premium for Part A, but if neither you nor your spouse have 10 years of Social Security work credits, you may owe a monthly premium. If you're admitted to the hospital as an inpatient, you'll owe a deductible of $1,632 at the beginning of your stay. If you have multiple hospitalizations, you may owe the deductible more than once. After you meet your deductible, your first 60 days in the hospital and your first 20 days in a skilled nursing facility cost you nothing. After that, you owe an out-of-pocket cost each day for your continued stay. Medicare Part B covers outpatient costs, such as doctor visits and lab tests. In 2024, the standard Part B premium is $174.70. If your income is above $103,000 as a single person or $206,000 as a married couple, you may pay a higher premium. Keep in mind that if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you may also pay an additional monthly premium for being enrolled in that plan. If you have original Medicare, you'll owe a Part B deductible of $240 in 2024. You'll continue to owe a 20% coinsurance for most services covered by Part B. If you're low income, you may be eligible for a partial Medicaid program called the Medicare Savings Program, which will pay your Part B premium for you. Contact your New Mexico SHIP at 1-800-432-2080 for more information. Point two, know your prescription drug coverage costs in 2024. Medicare Part D covers outpatient prescription drugs. In 2024, the national average premium for the Part D basic benefit is around $30 per month. Your premium and drug costs vary based on your plan and your prescription drug needs. If your Part D plan has an annual deductible, it can be no higher than $545, that's $545 in 2024. If you reach the catastrophic coverage phase in 2024, you then won't owe any of the cost of your covered drugs. This is a new change and means that your Part D out-of-pocket spending will be capped at $8,000 per year. This cap will be further lowered to $2,000 in 2025. If your income is limited, you may qualify for help with your Medicare costs. Contact your New Mexico SHIP at 1-800-432-2080 to see if you're eligible. One of these cost-saving programs is called Extra Help. In 2024, full Extra Help will be expanded so that even more people are eligible. Point three, know your opportunities to change your coverage in 2024. Many people have to wait until Medicare's open enrollment period to change their coverage if they aren't happy with it. You may have the opportunity to change your coverage earlier in 2024, though, depending on your circumstances. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you may be able to use the Medicare Advantage plan open enrollment period, also known as MAOEP, you can use this period to switch from your Medicare Advantage plan to another Medicare Advantage plan or to original Medicare with or without a prescription drug plan. The MAOEP is each year from January 1st through March 31st. If you make a change during this period, it will be effective on the first day of the following month. You may only make one change though, so it's important to choose carefully if you enroll in a new Medicare Advantage or Part D plan. This will automatically disenroll you from your previous Medicare Advantage plan. Your New Mexico SHIP will be happy to help you with your plan search. You can call 1-800-432-2080 for assistance.
If you qualify for a special enrollment period, or SEP for short, you may be able to change your coverage. There are several situations when you might qualify for an SEP. For example, if you move outside your plan service area, if your Medicare Advantage plan stopped working with a large number of its network providers, or if you enroll in certain state pharmaceutical assistance programs. To use an SEP, call Medicare and explain your situation. If you have questions about your SEP eligibility, contact your SHIP. If you have extra help in 2024, you have an, a special enrollment period to enroll in a Part D plan or switch between plans. Extra help is a federal program that helps pay for some of your Medicare Part D prescription drug costs. The extra help SEP is available once per calendar quarter for the first three quarters of the year, which are January through March, April through June, and July through September. If you use this SEP to change your coverage, the change will become effective the first of the following month. Point four, beware of new Medicare card schemes. New Medicare cards were sent to people on Medicare in 2018. These new cards replaced social security numbers with a Medicare ID to better protect people with Medicare. While the rollout of new Medicare cards ended years ago, Scams about Medicare cards continue. You will not be getting an updated Medicare card this year, but scammers may try to convince you otherwise. For example, scammers may falsely tell you that Medicare is again issuing new cards, perhaps plastic ones, metal ones, or cards with a chip. The scammers may tell you that you must verify your identity for them to send you your new Medicare card. This is an attempt to gain your personal or financial information. Beware of unsolicited calls, such as anyone claiming to be from Medicare, needing you to verify your identity or sending you an updated Medicare card. Report any suspected Medicare card scams to your local Senior Medicare Patrol or SMP at 1-800-432-2080. There are some important changes to be aware of in 2024 if you have questions about how these changes impact you or whether you might be eligible for assistance, please call your New Mexico SHIP at 1-800-432-2080. Tune in next month when our topic will be ending care appeals. Thank you.